I'm Michelle Pilly, the Managing Director and Publisher of Hay House UK. I'm really excited that we're back in London this year for I Can Do It. These events are so important to us. They've been happening for over 20 years. For Louise Hay, they were incredibly important gatherings. She loved the idea of bringing the people together to share ideas, inspiration on all the key topics of spirituality, holistic health and personal development. For Louise, these events were parties. Wonderful gatherings of people that would become lifelong friends. You would get to meet teachers and healers and people who might inspire you for the rest of your life. Frequently people attend these events and experience something absolutely life-changing. So often people come because they love one particular author or one particular speaker and they end up going completely away with two or three other authors that they have never encountered before and they're really excited and surprised by. That happens at every I Can Do It event. This year we're headlining with the wonderful Chris Carr. Louise loved Chris Carr. She found her a fantastic ambassador of health and positivity for a whole new generation. Chris has created a brand new talk for the event this year. It's bound to be hilarious and it's bound to be full of exciting, life-changing ideas. Chris is such a phenomenal influence on so many people in the wellness and clean eating space. People like Deliciously Ella quote Chris as one of their inspirational mentors, people that have actually started them on their path. She's influenced so many others as well who love her way of presenting her information and are so touched by the courage of her personal life story. Chris hasn't been in the UK for several years and is not likely to be returning for the, in the next few years. So do take this opportunity to come and see this amazing speaker and truly wonderful woman. It wouldn't be a Louise event without having Robert Holden in the lineup. Robert has collaborated with Louise across a whole raft of books and projects. And the first I Can Do It that Robert spoke at, he's spoken at over 50 now, was when Louise offered to do his makeup for him. It was a wonderful event and started him on a whole journey of speaking for us. His talk will inspire you and give you lots of creative tips and ideas to work with to live a more heart-centered life. David Hamilton has taken Louise's philosophy of the mind-body connection and explored that amazingly from a scientific perspective. The information that he shares, and again, in such a warm and funny way, will really excite you and give you a sense of understanding about the healing process and the control and inspiration that you can bring to that process. And it's going to really change the way that you view that mind-body connection. When Kyle Gray got to meet Louise as a very young man, Louise saw in Kyle a great new voice for a young generation. She knew that he would inspire people, that he would bring them into connection with their angels and allow them to feel a greater sense of, of trust and purpose. In the UK, we've looked hard for the people here who will bring forward that new information, that new energy to share with the generations that are to come. Charlie Morley, the expert on lucid dreaming, is a wonderful example. A phenomenal speaker, a great and inspiring teacher of how the importance of lucid dreaming and the practice of Buddhism and mindfulness merge together in a really transformative way. Our aim and objective with I Can Do It is to gather together a phenomenal collection of top speakers in their fields and bring them together into one room in one place so that you can hear from a whole variety and diversity of directions, of places and of peoples the important ideas that are coming forward in these times to bring us healing and to move us forward positively as a community. One person I'm particularly excited that will be appearing in the lineup this year is Phyllis Corot. Phyllis is a Wiccan High Priestess. She's also a civil rights attorney and she's battled for the rights of pagans, witches and other civil liberties cases in the American courts. She's an incredibly wise and inspiring woman. It's a great opportunity to be in the same room with her and feel the magic and wisdom just that she exudes. Last year in Birmingham, we had Yakov Darling Khan speaking for the first time at an I Can Do It event. For many people, he was the person who rocked their weekend. He gave a fantastic presentation and introduction to shamanism and took people through an extraordinary shamanic journey. He's likely to do exactly the same for you again here in London. We really hope you take the opportunity to have this experience of working with an authentic shamanic teacher. 
Another author who's going to be presenting, who is a master of leading meditations, is Sophie Bashford. People have been following her very ardently for many years, loving her work on The Goddess. And it will be her first time speaking at an I Can Do It event for us. It's going to be a lovely opportunity to really expand your ideas and understanding of the whole of the Goddess energy. Another young voice who we're thrilled to have on the I Can Do It stage for the first time is the UK celebrity Fern Cotton. Fern's books Happy and Calm have inspired so many people to be able to have the confidence to overcome their battles with anxiety and depression. And Fern's going to be talking about her experiences and answering people's questions. To so come and meet this person who is influencing so many young people. Also speaking for the first time and travelling all the way from Australia for this event is Elizabeth Peru. Elizabeth has followers all around the world for her energy forecasts. Her talk will be full of information and tips and ideas that will change the way that you look at the divine timing in your own life. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful two days. We really hope you decide to treat yourself, take the time and come along. Participate in this sharing of incredible wisdom. Louise always described them as banquets and this one will certainly be one.